The Battle of Umbara was one of the bloodiest and most brutal conflicts that the clone troopers of the Republic faced during the war, pitting brother against brother, even having to fight back against the treasonous Jedi General Pong Grell. But what the troopers and the Jedi didn't realise was that there was a hidden Sith temple on the planet which may have actually influenced Pong Krell's actions. So before we get into it, make sure you're subscribed for more awesome Star Wars lore content. The mysterious Sith Academy on Umbara was a structure that was carefully constructed by the organisation known as the Brotherhood of Darkness, who rose to power in the closing stages of the Republic's Dark Age. The facility itself was built in the final days of the New Sith Wars, around 1000 years before the Battle of Yavin, and the planet Umbara was chosen because of the dark side energy that flowed through it, channeling the Force through its hallways. At this new temple, the young Sith apprentices were taught the ways of the dark side, and instructed on how to become deceptive and cunning without a hint of hesitation. The temple on Umbara quickly became known for producing some of the best dark side assassins and spies, and pretty much some of the most fierce dark side force users in the galaxy, with those graduating from Umbara preferring to use the force to kill rather than to defend or try to influence their opponents. The only problem was, you had to survive the gruelling training to even get a chance out in the field. Definitely no easy task. One of the most prestigious groups to come out of the dark temple were the Umbaran Shadow Assassins, who were highly elite Umbaran warriors that used Force Pikes as their weapon of choice. These Shadow Assassins were able to utilise the dark side of the Force to conceal their presence, but not just their signature in the Force. They were also able to conceal their physical presence, as well as blocking any sound from escaping their location. The Shadow Assassins also prided themselves on killing primarily with the Force, rather than having to use their weapons. They used their force spikes to kill so rarely, that rumours even began to spread that their hand-to-hand -hand combat skills couldn't even match that of a Jedi Padawan. Moving forward almost a thousand years to the Clone Wars, various Sith were able to reunite at the temple and study its teachings in the darkness, including Darth Maul, his brother Savage Opress, as well as the mysterious Varad Zag. Along with terrifying barrages of force lightning, Zag was able to create dark side projections in the force which imitated Ahsoka Tano, Anakin Skywalker and Mace Windu, dispatching them against a young Jedi Knight who located the temple through pieces of a lost Sith holocron. And for those of you who have played the Clone Wars Adventures game, you'll remember that this is your character. After defeating the Force projections, the Jedi Knight was able to fight off four fierce training droids before switching his attention to Varad Zag himself, ending his life swiftly. Following that we have absolutely no idea what happened to the Sith Temple and Academy on Umbara, but there's a good chance that it was badly damaged or even destroyed during the endless fighting in the Dark World. There is a chance however that the dark influence flowing through the temple may have influenced Pong Krell as he turned away from the Jedi Order and sought to join Count Dooku. But let me know what you think down below. So that is the mysterious Sith Temple on Umbara. Thanks so much for watching, really hope you enjoyed the video. Cheers guys, hope to see you in the next one.